Alka-Seltzer Plus Liquid Gel's USB-C Masters pregame show on Extra Frame Live. Brought to you by Rotogrip, king of them all. And by DV8, damn good bowling. And by Etonic. And we are here at Sunset Station. We're just under 15 minutes left before airtime. The players are practicing. There's Mike J. Laneside giving his announcements to the crowd. And there is Jackie Bowling. Jackie, good morning. Good morning, Bowling Guy. Jackie, Jackie you're down in the pit down there. I huh? am. I'm in the pit. How exciting is this? This is the 2012 USBC Masters. We are in practice mode. This this is amazing. I cannot believe this. So uh, let's let's see if we can grab any of the inside and uh, inside scoop and see what what this what's going on. So as you can see, we've got a lot of a lot of people in the. <laughs> Which one are you gonna? Brian, you higher seat? You're higher seat. No, you are. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Not true, it's not. I don't want to get in trouble. What do you think, Jay? Yeah, it's it's a little different for a live show than it is for a tape it show. It is. A little it bit is. more stressful atmosphere. Did you even see that uh, <laughs> Dan McCullen didn't even know what seat he was? Oh, wow. <laughs> Wow. They were asking him for what he wanted for starting choice lane, and he's like, well, Bri Brian, are you, are you three or are you four? Or <laughs> <laughs> well, the higher, higher uh, match play average is, is actually what determines the seed. Right. See all the people we have here off to the side. And good crowd here assembled to get you a good shot of that. You see all the people. It's a different, different configuration here for, for this Masters, a wider set gone around a little bit bigger and made the bowlers area a lot bigger so uh, so it's a different look and second major of the season already, already. and uh, Jackie uh, what are you seeing out there as far as are they all still playing out like they were in the tournament or well I'm kind of off to the to a, a bad angle but it looks like it I mean I think it's just they're just breaking down right now they're what are what are Jimmy and Dell saying there next to you we'll find out Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we just had one technical issue. We're going to need to clear it up, so it's my fault. I'm going to take the blame. And if you see me walking around here, you know i got a lot of butter too, so no problem. You guys are fantastic. We're going to give it the best applause yet. And we are going to get this over on We are 12 minutes away from life. They're in a crossroad. Let's see those signs. Yeah, they're playing out. Yeah, it looks like Fagan was out there on that shot. So the first match is going to be Brian Smith versus Dan McClellan. There's Brian Smith there. And uh, I got to talk with both of them, Brian Smith and Dan McClellan, um, yesterday. Brian's in a good spot. He hasn't been on TV in a long time, and he doesn't bowl too many tournaments out here, and he just wanted to come out and have some fun, and it, it worked out to his advantage. And uh, that's... It's always great to, to hear, and then uh, I actually had dinner um, with a group of us, and Dan was out there, and he just, his attitude is, I'm going to run him over today. So, wow. he's, yeah, he's like, I am, I've never been so Pumped determined. for a show. Yep, he's like, I'm, I'm past last year, I'm, I'm ready to go, I'm ready to steamroll these guys. That's exactly what he said. Wow. So, he wants to well, steamroll. He, he steamrolled seven opponents to get to the show. He had, he the, he had to do the most bowling, so. You getting a good shot here, Jay? Yeah, it's as good as I can get. Uh, a lot of crowd here and don't have the best camera position because uh, <laughs> it's a live show and, and uh, they don't want me mucking up their TV shots. So, yeah, uh, and they don't want me in their TV shots either. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, this is, this is the best we can do. It's definitely a different atmosphere. One, two. I, don't know, I just don't know if there's going to be Reed there. That's the only problem. Yeah. See, he's already locked in on that one. He's trying to miss the front part of it. I told him to get lined up on the left lane and throw the majority of his shots on the right lane. It's all stronger than me. Oh. They're talking about Brian Smith. 
The only player on the show today who'll be throwing Storm. The other three players on the show will be throwing EBI brands. And you can see Bugsy Kelly and Mike Calderon thinking about the strategy over there. Mike's got his hand on his chin. He's in the thinker pose. <laughs> yeah. He actually has that pose all the time. Yeah, right. <laughs> but, you know, you'd think that uh, based on how these guys all got here, they all played out. I would assume they're all going to play out in practice, and I, I would assume also that the scores would be pretty high for this telecast. Mike J warming up the crowd. Yeah, he, he always gets everyone fired up, whether it's 7 in the morning, 10 at night. Doesn't matter. He's always, look at him. <laughs> I don't know if you can see him in the camera, but he's doing a little there celebration he's got strike the red dance. Ernie Schlegel pants and shirt on, <laughs> running around. All right, so should we get try to get brave and go over there? or? Yeah, let's give it a shot. Why not? I don't All they can do is tell you to get out. Yeah. There's a camera dude that's like taping something. Yeah, a little different than the World Series atmosphere with, with the tape shows. Live shows have a much more energetic feel to them. Lady strikes. goes all the way through from the TV crew to the players. The players can feel it. Pretty good. This is history. Okay. You guys are here to see it. We go live in about eight minutes. What's going to happen five. today? Five. I want, yeah. yeah, five. I went five and, I went five and four. Did you? We're back one and one. first major title to his resume, Willie? I don't know if my microphone can stretch all the way to the other guy. A long way. Yeah, but I mean, he can get a little right to me. There's Mika Koivunyemi there. He's here to cheer on his best friend and roommate, Chris Barnes. Chris Barnes trying to make history today. You could, you could almost hit that. I know. I'm, 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 I'm leaning. In the history of professional bowling, have done it. Will that man, Chris Barnes, be a third? You will find out today. Just listening to direction. Right, Mike J. said it right there. Chris Barnes is looking to become the third player in PBA history to win the Grand Slam. This is the only one he hasn't won. He's finished second twice. This is the third time in his career that he's gone undefeated in the match play portion. He's needed to win one game to win the title. The previous two times, he's had 290 and 268 shot at him by Walter Ray Williams. I heard in his pregame interview yesterday that he was very happy that Walter Ray is not on the show today. So, so we'll see what happens. We will see. I would still guess, though, that that score in the final match is going to be pretty high. Chris shot 806 in his last match with a 300 game to defeat Fagan. Fagan didn't bowl too badly himself. 740 plus series, but wasn't enough to, to beat Chris. And Fagan is the number two seed, so we'll see him in the second match. Chris Barnes seeded all the way into the final match. And the opening match is Brian Smith versus Dan McClelland. Little beer frame Judy. Yeah. My favorite song. Are you going to sing? I'm going to sing my part. <laughs> I'm going to sing my part. <laughs> my part is the background vocals. Do your duty. <laughs> You're a goofball. I love it. Beer frame Judy. <laughs> forgot my lines, Jackie. Uh, that's okay, at least. I'm only know. trying to do six things at once right now. Camera, make sure the stream's working. Yes. Present the show, and sing Beer Frame Judy. And talk to me. And talk to you. Yeah. I think they're doing another uh, 
truck camera thing situation. So yep. I just told Jeffries to sit down, and no one tells Jeffries to sit down. <laughs> He's still tall when he sits down. Right, right. Jeffries, the new CEO of the PBA? Yes. We have about five minutes before live ESPN television, so I would switch over there now and get ready to watch. We've still got five minutes of coverage here. Hopefully we'll get the, the last bit of nitty-gritty before we go on the show, get the, the final strategies and what the players are feeling. And Looks like Mika's going over to talk to Chris. There's Chris behind the scenes. It's the part of the show you never see. We never shoot that, that side, so this is kind of the control area. There's Dave Schroeder, the producer. The we got Mika here, Jason. Mika, your best buddy is going to be bowling for almost history today. What do you what do you have to say about that? Uh, I try to give one extra pair for Chris, see how the lane's going to break down, what's going to give some information for him if he needs. What it, so you're going to you're going to stick around here to see what he to give him a little insight? Yeah, looks like the front's hooking a little bit more right now than to do the week. So I think that we're going to figure this out. Going to win. Going to figure this out. We're going to win. Yes. I like that. I like that strategy. You're a good best friend, good support. There they are, chatting, telling them all the inside goods. Help his buddy. Last call. Last call. It's pretty close to last call. Looks by my watch, four minutes till live TV. All right. Players are getting their final instructions from Kirk Von Kruger, Deputy Commissioner. And Brian Smith getting some advice from Del Ballard Jr. and Jimmy Callahan from Storm. McClelland has a, has, they go by ball reps, it's three to one, or three to two right now for McClelland. <laughs> McClellan has Ron Hickland, Bugsy Kelly, and Mike Calderon there helping him. And Brian Smith has two, but uh, two, minutes for ready for the two minutes. Two minutes. Are you ready for war? I, I am ready. I think uh, I'm hoping he plays that song. It's my favorite. It's my favorite bowling. So ready for war song. That sounds exciting, dude. Less than two minutes. Live coverage, the finals of the USBC Masters. It's our first live event of the year. It's a major. We have a new play-by-play -play announcer in the booth, Gary Thorne. I haven't met him yet, but he looks like a nice guy. I'll tell you, I, I heard... Uh, Vinny said one minute. I heard the billboards, which are him introducing uh, the, the sponsors and the commercials, and he has such a distinctive voice. It actually made me very excited, even though I'm, I'm sad to see Rob Stone go. I'm really uh, excited to see uh, what Gary Thorne can add to the broadcast. And, and we're going to wrap it up, Jackie. Uh, one minute left. Give you some time to run over to your TV sets and, and get it tuned in to the 2012 Alka-Seltzer Plus USBC Masters. Any uh, final words, Jackie? My final words are hopefully this is a good show. I know it's going to be some good bowling scores, some good competition, some drama. Uh, best of luck to all the guys and uh, great bowling all week. I think you'd agree. So that will wrap up the pregame show to the USBC Masters Championship. Jason, this is the powerhouse Jackie Bowling. Back to you. Well, thank you, Jackie, and we're going to sign off. Be sure to be sure to join us after the show for the post game. We'll get interviews with the winner and also the winning ball rep. We'll show you the winning equipment, layouts, and any other relevant information that uh, we think you might need to know. We are going to go live just momentarily. So go ahead and check it out on ESPN, and we'll see you back here 2 p.m. Eastern time.